Um, no, I'm, <clears throat> I'm afraid of dying, generally, so, you know, any time I bring up, like, if I'm going to need to be able to afford medical equipment when I get older, and that's why I need to work toward profit as an artist, then it reminds me that someday I'm going to die. Yeah. Um, I, I just a sort of a question I sort of thought about when we were talking about overhearing people's conversations. Um, do you think you're morally obligated to those snatches of conversation um, once you overhear them? Oh, morally obligated to take on the people's conversations yeah, and, if and you, turn them into a piece of yeah. art. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's hard, you know, you have an idea and you think, well, what happens to that idea? If I don't fulfill that idea, it's just going to go away into the sea of the universe and be lost forever in the history. And then you think of all the ideas that must be have been lost and all the stuff, and then the universe keeps going, it keeps going over time, and, so and you, time keeps passing. So do you think really a, the true artist would um, overhear everybody's conversations and, and try and use them in some way. Yeah, and you would, you just, you just have to keep cracking along and be like, I have an obligation to do this, I have an obligation to do this, I have an obligation to do this, you know, and just keep saying that to yourself and just keep, I mean, you push yourself, don't you? I mean, do you, do you find yourself pushing yourself and to yeah. always be, or to always to always to, to always move, yeah, and to, and to keep continuing um, to yeah, produce definitely. poetry yeah yeah yeah. Mm. yeah it's interesting so do you um do you i mean if you just write out a, an overheard conversation um for my notebook do you, do you keep a notebook in the same way as you yeah well before this interview started i i wrote down the phrase cassandra's wine um because i was sort of thinking of the I mean, at, at artists talking to artists is, um, uh, and I was, I guess I was going to ask you this, um, uh, I was thinking of Cassandra, of course, who is in the Greek tragedies, she's the one that has prophetic dreams, and so if you were to have prophetic dreams, you would probably want to drink, um, you know, to keep the dreams away, because you keep them away. And so, and so, um, I, I wrote, you mean? yes, I wrote Cassandra's Wine. So, do you, uh, I guess I was going to ask you, and this might be a bit off the subject, is if, is, if you feel like as an artist you sometimes want to resort to alcohol um, to keep you kind of going? I mean, what do you think of all these artists who. I think as a, I'm sort of drawn to alcohol as, a, as an artist and also as a, as a human being, really. Um, I'm sorry I put my pen aside because I kept snapping it. <laughs> That's okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm sort of drawn to alcohol um, Yeah, as, a, as an artist and as a human being. And I think alcohol um, does have its benefits and it definitely has its uh, non-benefits. Um, but maybe that, uh, just, just thinking back to that um, overheard bit of conversation, maybe the purest form of profit ever invented, he was talking about alcohol. Is, uh, Say the bit of the conversation again. The purest form of profit ever invented. The purest form of profit, and that's the only... That's the only bit that I've got here. <coughs> so you would ask yourself, if you were to sit down and write a poem, what is the purest form? And alcohol is the purest form of profit ever invented? I you don't know, maybe you could, you could say that. Um, yeah, you could say that. Um, interesting. Because I think artists, um, kind of, in generally speaking, like you can go right down the line and say Victor Hugo, um, name an artist. Um, Jasper Johns. Yes, or like Picasso. Charles Fort. Um, who else could you name as an artist, or any any kind of art? Any, like, any art form. William Shakespeare. Yes. I'm 
sorry, I'm having trouble thinking of it. Who's the, like, Mary Shelley would be the author yeah. of Frankenstein. And she was, she was well known for dabbling in yeah, spirits. Yeah. And spirits. you go right down the line with artists and they're all of them. Drinking, drugs. Yeah, I mean, I think that's... Mostly both. But I think, I mean, I mean, that's an interesting question, is whether these people get drawn to art because they're already, they're, they're already susceptible to, to alcohol and to drug taking. And whether art is an excuse for that. Well, yeah. So you could just want to take alcohol and drugs. Yeah, and I think for a lot of people who are into art... As you're growing up. Yeah, and I just say, well, what, what way can I continue taking drugs and being drunk? And that's legitimate. I think art is a legitimate reason for... A, a legit, legitimate excuse for a lot of these people. Yeah, exactly. For James Joyce, for example, he was heavily into drugs and drink at uh, an early uh -huh. age and he um, sort of was pretending almost to write this massive novel that took 20 years just as an excuse to... Yeah, because it did take him 20 yeah, years to write that's that what, novel. But that's so because he, he was drunk. I he mean, was if he was all the sober, time. it would have probably only taken him two or three years. Yeah. If he had even wanted to write the novel. Yeah, he, he might not probably been. He could have been, 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 been having a novel as an excuse. I mean, yeah, and he could have been the manager of Vodafone and he could have... We could have overheard him say that. Mm -hmm. Pure, the purest form of profit ever invented. Um, that could have been James Joyce. Yeah, I mean, he, he didn't have to be a novelist. It's just an excuse. If you're sitting in the bar and the, yeah. and the person comes in and they say, What are you doing in the bar? You can say, Well, I am a novelist. Yeah, or I'm I am a wearing... sculptor. Yeah, I'm just. And then they'd be like, Oh. Whereas well, if you're a postman and you were found sitting in the bar with a bag full of letters, then be different, wouldn't it? You'd be like, you're not really a post, you're supposed to be, a, you're supposed to be out working. You know? Right, 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 right. Whereas I think for a lot of people who are into art. So do a, it's almost the chicken or the egg sort of thing. I think so, Which yeah. comes first, the yeah. inclination toward art or the yeah. inclination toward drinking and drugs. Yeah. yeah I remember I had, I had, if you're so inclined. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I, I, I know that you've been drunk at some point in mm -hmm. your life. Mm -hmm. um, now, is that because you've you wanted to be a writer, and because of the people you were, you associate with, they sort of they persuaded you towards. Yeah, drinking. I don't know. It goes so about far back in my memory. I mean, the first time I was drunk was I was probably eight years old, and so I'm not sure what I was thinking at the time, because I was probably also reading Stephen King at the time, and saying, "Oh, you know," and I was I I started. Um, rather early with that stuff and and but you must have already written some letters and stuff at this time as well yeah I, I, but but it was when i was reading stephen king books um that i that i said oh i'm going to copy these books and okay. then and <clears throat> so i would write my own stephen king books. well you, you would copy them word for word and just write them out well i you know i'd start them and i'd maybe get halfway through the book and sort of copying yeah, it's pretty much the story, but I would just be copying it back in my head and onto okay. the computer. And so, <clears throat> but around that same time, and that was probably the beginnings of writing, but around that same time, of course, like the first thing that you find out about um, Stephen King is that he likes beer, right? And that's like in the first, if you take a Stephen King novel and you pick it up and you open it and the first page will be about beer, or something like well, that. Well, if not beer, then they, 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 there'll be some just sort of addicted to right. drugs. Right. So then I might have also gotten the idea at that time, or maybe I saw somebody in the street having a beer or something like that, and maybe at, at that time I can't remember really because I was only eight years old. Mm.